I can think about some of the earlier years. They were so wonderful, I didn't realize it. Like, you see that beauty up there? When I was growing up in high school, they were the latest things in cars. In 1957, Bobby Darren and Ed What are they called? Woody's. Because, see that panel on the side? Yeah. On the first ones, it actually had wood on it. And then they quit putting wood on because of the factory. I think I think I'm understanding them. They were vinyl. But it was something else. And one of the things in 1956 I wanted to do is I wanted to get myself a woody and put a surfboard on top and go down to Newport Beach and hang out. And pretty soon they quit making woodies and then they Studebaker went the way of, uh, well, it was replaced by the Volkswagen. Now the Volkswagen has been replaced by Japanese cars, and the Japanese cars have been replaced by German ones, electric ones. I guess they're Elon Musk, American ones. Mm -hmm. So how can you keep track of the cars? I mean, I can think back to some of the most beautiful cars I've had. And then they're gone. After, I mean, I, I loved them. I paid, I paid $400 for that car. It was a sports car, racing car. Aluminum body, wood dash, leather upholstery. And it cost me $400. And I think I sold it for $100. 30 years later. But by the time they had dented the front quarter panel, the rear quarter panels, and the steel smoke chrome wheels could not be true for under $100 to cost to strip out the acid and then to tighten them up. 100 bucks a wheel. And you had to do them all. So, I didn't do it.